But there seems to be this love in the urban community. Right. For <laughs> money and crime and... Um, well, you know, I, I think some of that comes from... Um, uh, one, we're in America. America's driven by money. I mean, if you've got money, you have power. Um, you're taught to covet. Every commercial on television tells you, look at that person, you can be better, you can have what they have. Look at the commercials. You can have her if you put this. You can have him if you do that. All the commercials. Um, you're taught to buy what you deserve, not what you can afford. See, that has gotten a lot of people into debt because I'm making nine dollars an hour, and I think I deserve a Maserati. <laughs> you know, so so that's what happens. So the bad side of that is you have a lot of people who um, subscribe to the philosophy that looking broken, being broke are two different things. So you know um, that is the bad side of it, and people are used to that. So when you're putting in characters who are wearing top end, driving top end, even the reader, even when you're trying to say that uh, it's stolen, it's not right, it's materialistic, it's almost, it's like the people who used to watch the, uh, when they used to do the, um, when they had to, when they installed the code in the movie f industry that at the end it had, the message had to be crime doesn't pay. They don't see that message. They see all the stuff that the, that the characters did and they say, I'm going to do all that up to the part where they got shot. You know, Scarface. Scarface, right. So, you know, it's, um, that's, that's America. I mean, uh, which is, you know, part of the reason probably why we are where we are, because everyone has spent themselves into, you know, more, 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 bigger, 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 bigger. You know, here we have uh, homes that are so large. And then you're down in Argentina, you, and you're seeing the spaces that people live in, that families live in, you know, which are probably the size of um, a bathroom in Buckhead. You know, so, you know, because some of the stuff, I, like I said, I have it in, you know, Arizona, yeah, 15 million, but she's a con woman. She's losing everything. She's losing 15 million, so she's stressed. She's, now she's got to put a hit out on somebody. It's exciting, but on the, on the flip side, she's like, dag, you just sit your butt down and, and rethink your life, you know. Uh, if you're talking about somebody in reality. You know, and I try to have, like, little bits and pieces of that. I mean, even the, um, uh, no matter if, and all the characters I've written, uh, no matter if they are a con man or con woman, or just say like Vince in Liar's Game, he's just a blue collar, hard working guy trying to uh, see his daughter, his estranged, his uh, ex wife as a kid and run off, and he has you know uh, custody issues, and he does something. None of them escape anything. There's always consequences to their actions. There's always, con every character, there's consequences to their action.